YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content, and I love new crafting friends. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great DIY content. Today's just a really quick video. I have a fantastic tip. It's one of those things that is so simple, I can't believe that I never really thought of it before, but I was struggling with getting my Mod Podge jar open and I had somebody down in the description in the comments leave me a little tip and I was like why how did I not know this so simple so I'm going to show you right away if you use a lot of Mod Podge you need to do this okay here I have my Mod Podge mat if you've worked with Mod Podge a lot you know that it sometimes can be a bugger to get the lid off I have a lot of problems with it this is glued right on I am gonna have to run it under some hot water and get this lid off. I'm gonna show you a couple tips and tricks so you can avoid this and you can get using your Mod Podge faster, cleaner, and more efficient. So I'm gonna take this down, get it all cleaned up, and I'll show you what I've learned. This is one of my older jars, but I got the lid off and I was gonna show you. See how it gets all gunked up around here? We want to avoid that because this is a glue and it's basically gluing the lid onto the jar every time after you use it. So you want to make sure if you're having this problem, take it down, get some really hot soapy water. Don't get it in the Mod Podge, but get this all cleaned off really nice. And um, I'll show you what you can do to prevent that. Oh, I, I love Mod Podge. If you know and follow around here, I use it all the time to make my signs, but it can be messy. Look at that. I'm just kind of picking off some of the big chunks off the top of it. Um, before I go and wash it really well. So we really want to not have this happen. I have it all nice and clean now. I cleaned out the lid and all around the rim. And do you ever have anything happen that is so simple and you're just like, how did I never really figure this out until now? And why have I been struggling so long? I Somebody saw me in one of my videos struggling with to get the, to get the lid off of my Mod Podge and they put a little note down in the description and said if you put a little bit of vaseline around the rim of your bottle of mod posh it won't stick for you anymore and i was like what the heck that's so simple why did i not think of that and it works fantastic i just take a little bit of vaseline just put it on your finger and just put it around the rim of your jar just like that it will prevent the Mod Podge from sticking. You can put your lid back on and you won't have that struggle anymore. I'm also gonna show you another tip. And just to be sure, in case the Vaseline doesn't 100% work for you, you can get a little zippy baggie, put it right over your jar of Mod Podge. I like to use a little elastic to keep it in place. Put it down at the bottom of the rim Screw your lid on and you will have no more Mod Podge messes. You can also, instead of the baggie, use wax paper, um, cling film, or parchment paper. If you do decide to use wax paper, wax paper has a paper side and a wax side. Make sure you're not putting the paper side on the inside of the lid or it will glue together. But I prefer the baggie and if it does get a little bit mucked up, you just crumple it up, throw it in the garbage, and grab a new one. So there you go, a great tip for keeping your Mod Podge jar nice and clean and easy to use for the next time. I'm kind of ashamed actually for how much I use Mod Podge that I hadn't figured this out sooner, but thank you so much to my fantastic followers who always give me great tips and tricks when there's stuff that I'm struggling with. So I appreciate that. Give it a try. I'm sure a lot of you probably already knew this, but if you haven't, give it a try. Let me know how it works out for you. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next video. And if you like this video, you'll probably really love this one. Have a great day.